Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the first Eredivisie jersey review on my channel and the reason why I haven't had one is because as of the date I'm shooting this video I have only jerseys for five teams and the other that I just recently acquired. However, while it might be a little bit uh, more empty than I usually have in my, in my backgrounds, I still want to keep it that way. And what's even more important for every part of the video that I'm shooting, I have a jersey to wear. So that's all the fun of it. And I'm really, really excited about doing that because the Eredivisie to me had always some sleeper jerseys and some really, really interesting ones in there. We also have tons of different suppliers that we don't usually call in the big leagues at all. Now, in this video, I will go through the jerseys that have been released for each of these uh, teams and give them a grade from one, the worst to 10, the best. My personal view, at the end I will ask you which jerseys you agree or disagree with me uh, in here. The pictures I've taken from the wonderful page Football Kit Archive, which you definitely should check out and then a little, a little bit of editing that it all fits nicely. As for which team goes in which video. If you are a long time viewer of my channel, you already know I take last season standing and then I go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. We have 18 teams, so four videos and you know, each number for the video. And so in this video, we have Twente, we have AZ, the team I'm wearing, we have Groningen and we have the go ahead Eagles. So only four teams again. And again, we start alphabetically again with the team that I'm wearing. And I gotta say, this is the first time I'm putting this shirt on. I'm shooting this right after the unpacking. Under Armour shirts are very, very, very tight. This is an XL, it fits almost like an M. Just noting for you guys. But we're not talking about Under Armour shirts because now the uh, AZ are with Nike and ever since they were with Nike they got more or less some uh, template shirts which is the same thing here. Leipzig have very, sim have very similar shirts. It's very AZ but it's also very boring in, in a way and I, that's why I'm happy I got this shirt because it looks a little, a little bit different. Um, I think previous shirts, especially around the successful uh, decade, um, you know, about 10 years, years ago with the white sleeves, I think this looked a little bit better to me and a little bit more special. This one, yeah, okay, but overall rather disappointing. Uh, I would give it a five star because it doesn't do anything right or wrong. It's also uh, was worn with the club's foundation at a point. The away jersey blue on a template i have to say maybe a little bit more interesting pattern weird color it doesn't get better it is still very much take a template shirt slap a crest on it and the sponsor and that's that and the orange dot on that shirt really bugs me because this should be red i like the red outline for the swoosh though unfortunately rz only five stars Let's go to the second Stano team with the go ahead Eagles from Deventer. Um, more or less an MN slash Ajax look in red and uh, yellow. Uh, I think I've liked previous ones a little bit better. This is almost, you know, uh, there should be a little bit more striping to be honest. This one is almost, you know, just having the sand system stripe takes a little bit out from it. I also find the color a little bit odd. But overall, it's a nice shirt, but also one that cannot really decide do we want to have the sponsors in black or in white. I understand that on a sleeve that are red, white works better, but you know, if I look at it, the uh, black with the white outline is also not too large, is also not that bad. So, you know, I think it could overall look a teeny bit better. I still give it six stars because it's not, you know, there is a little bit thought put into it but it's not a jersey that, that excites me i have to say although the colors are completely off and again i would like to know a little bit more about it that jacket shirt looks darn fine with the color there's some, some, some something about it. and then the eagle on the, the it, it, it looks really really nice i gotta say maybe a little bit too many sponsors but other than that this is a very nice uh, Loki shirt. I some deductions for, for for the color, but I want to give this an eight star. 
And the third jersey though. <laughs> Let's give it. They had such nice jerseys not too long ago with the eagle. Uh, this one, I don't know. I don't know. I think some people may like it. I don't get, I mean, it has nothing to do with the club's colors. And I know for a third jersey, but you know, we have already two jerseys that have nothing to do with yellow and uh, red. So I'm sorry, not gonna cut it honestly for, for me. Uh, that's a four star. Going over to Groningen. See, Robe knows you don't mess with the Groningen look. A white jersey with two little bit thinner green straps that house the logo. Uh, the logo, I, I, actually, when you look at the logo, his, his history, I liked it better with the one was in the 70s when this uh, G, which honestly looks a little, a little bit up, but when it was not around it, but looked um, with uh, a point that I think looked a little bit better. But you know, it's their logo. Nothing I can say about this jersey that is really uh, wrong. Maybe the color with this triangle looks a little bit weird, but I like how it's, you know, we have the green sleeve, sleeve because even the sponsor fits actually within. Maybe the green tone could be a little, little bit adjusted, but as classic looking as you can get, honestly. Fortunately, the team is not look, looking uh, good uh, playing on the field, but I actually think this is not a bad one. I want to give this a nine star. Uh, the away jersey in dark green with a little bit, yeah, okay, okay, doesn't really excite me, but I, I think I can see why this is a decent um, away jersey, so will not fault it for that. I'm gonna give this a seven. Uh, it's the third jersey where it actually breaks a little bit apart because for a very uh, not only weird color set, gray, olive green, black, white, and then a little bit light pink. Doesn't look right. I'm sure this is some artist color collaboration, but I have to say this is a third and the black spawn sponsor. It's just way too much. That's one of the worst jerseys in, in the league. And uh, you know, we have seen some adventurous ones in there. Uh, not coming around on, the, on, on, on this one. That is unfortunately just a two star. And we end it with a Maber team and before 20. And before we go into the 20 shirts, uh, I just want to take a moment to say Maber. Because for me, Maber is Barca. Maber, they had the Barca shirts in the 80s, in the, in the early 90s. They were glorious. Seeing Maber back makes me happy for 20. Yes, it also makes me happy. This is a simple shirt, but you saw it in my top 10 uh jerseys from the season that this was in the honorable mentions because i like that they took a beloved look from the 70s and put it on there i also like the sponsor i don't necessarily you know the, the bar but i understand very very it's in there a 20 home shirt doesn't do many crazy things but i really do like with these uh three stripes because it's a classic look uh yes maybe you could work with the sponsor a little bit more but uh it's over a really nice shirt gonna give this a nine star uh rating uh the away jersey yeah it needs to be dark i think i liked previous away jerseys a little bit better from 20 i but i think the, the, i i like the colors of dark blue then a little bit uh aqua or blue in there and then the red crest i think it looks quite interesting overall uh but it does not hold as much interest. i think this goes very very much well what i said for the feyenoord away jersey I would go here with a seven and then the third jersey makes actually also perfect sense there is some horizontal striping gray white that uh, fits fine um, it's maybe a tad boring but overall also not a bad look at all how about we'll go with this one with six because you know uh, a little bit more excitement could be although i think this is a very useful away jersey the set overall is probably one of the most reasonable ones that uh, we have seen in the era divisie and i know yes a 20 shirt should definitely be coming into my collection all the era divisie shirts reviewed please let me know which jersey in here did you like or dislike which ones with which ones do you agree and disagree with me Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.